She did give me another prescription for amoxicillin after this antibiotic if it doesn't go away. So basically I just need to like suck it up and stop being a baby. Good morning, you guys. Uh, you may notice I am in gym clothes right now. However, I did not go to the gym. We've had quite the eventful night. Uh, I shouldn't say I have, but poor mom has. She's been up all night. Throat is more swollen than ever. Hurts worse than ever. She's got these gigantic white pockets all over her glands on the inside. It is not good, you guys. So, we're starting off this day a little bit different. I just took Riley to swim, dropped him off. I'm doing it old school. This is how mom used to do every morning when I would travel and had the full-time job plus the vlog and things like that. She would take Riley to swim, come back, get the other kids ready for school, take them to school, Go pick up Ryler, get him to school. Kind of chaotic way to start the day. However, I'm gonna do that this morning so mom can get right into the Instacare, get this looked at. She posted out there on Instagram, a lot of people saying that it might be tonsillitis. We look that up, it looks like it very well may be tonsillitis. So she's gonna go in, see if she can get re-diagnosed with something, get a different antibiotic. But overall, you guys, mom is not doing well, not feeling good. Had a super, super rough night. I'm gonna go get the other kids up and ready for school, get them off to school, pick up Ragai, get him to school, let mom get to the doctor, and we will bring you up to speed as soon as we know what's going on with her. Thank you guys so much, So such an outpouring of support and love for her and concern and honestly like it's been going on for a few days now we're getting concerned we just want to make sure that she's okay and get this taken care of the good news is as I did a little bit of light internet research on tonsillitis it seems like it's maybe just like another different type of strep that would require like a separate medicine still treatable still killable with an antibiotic still easily taken care of in a short amount of time so I do think that there's still hope that she can get better quickly and that we can all be back to health but we just need to get her into the doctor and get it looked at again today so that's how we're starting our day Let's see how it goes what do you want for breakfast dads cereal yeah toast cereal Cereal. Cereal? Hazy, what do you want for breakfast? Um, cereal. Mom comes down with a bow and hand sanitizer. That must mean one thing. I'm still sick. <laughs> That'll wake you up. Mom is up this morning helping get the kids ready because she just cannot stand to be in bed any longer. She's been laying in bed for like a day and a half, on and off. Can't sleep at night. Throat is hurting so bad she can't even talk right now, but she's on her way to the doctor. I'm gonna get these kids to school. We're gonna go pick up Rye Guy. It's gonna be an eventful morning and we hope to get some good-ish news. I don't really know what good news would be at this point. Everyone's saying it sounds like I have tonsillitis. This sounds like I need to go back to the doctor and get another prescription. I'm hoping that's what it is and I'm not like, well, you have to have your tonsils out. And I'm like, oh, well, I'm not going to Hawaii then. I don't think that will happen. But. We'll see. We'll see. You guys keep eating. We'll go pick up Raga, okay? Some of this on top. Get some sanitizer on there. <laughs> kids are ready for school. I got coats. Brex, you got your coat? Where's your coat at? I think it's in the car. We got the kids' lunches right here. We're gonna do pizza. That's gonna be a favorite. And then Raga did not take his antibiotic this morning, so we're gonna take his antibiotic to him because we don't want him getting his stuff coming back. And mom's gonna take you guys to the hospital. Boom. Good morning and welcome back, Raga. I've got a delicious breakfast with an antibiotic for you. Love you guys. See you. Have a great day. Good luck. Love you. Have an awesome day. Love you crew. Love you Brax. Love you guys. See you dudes. You're a savage boss. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Is it working? Oh, it's working. Let's put a dolly on it and maybe the dolly can go for a ride. We are back home now. Got the kids dropped off at school, picked up Rye Guy successfully, got him his antibiotic, got him his breakfast, got the kids their lunches, got them their backpacks, their coats, all the things that mom does every single day, you guys. But when you're dad, you feel like you gotta list them all out, like you're something special. We're back home now. Hazy Girl has been wanting some batteries in this little thing <laughs> so that it can take her dolly for a ride. It actually works. Okay, I'm a little bit excited about this too. Look at that, it works. <laughs> so we're just hanging out together here for a minute until Hazy goes to school. I'm gonna be taking her to school in just a few minutes. We're getting this morning going. That is so cool. Cool, hazy girl. We're getting this morning going. We got everything taken care of. Mom is at the doctor at this minute, waiting to be seen. Kind of, I guess, hoping for tonsillitis. Do you hope for that? We hope for strep, and that didn't work out. So we'll see how this one goes. Let's check in with her, see how things are going. I just barely came to the doctor for the second time. I just got all checked in, told her everything. So they're going to come in. I don't know if they're going to do another throat swab or what they're going to do, but. Here goes round two. I'm curious to see what they say. I just got Hazy off to school and mom just called while I was loading the car seat into a neighbor's car. So let's call her back and see what the update is. Hello. What's the diagnosis? I feel like I have zero answers. 
Oh, that's the worst possible outcome. Yeah, but it's like getting worse, not better. And I thought after 24 hours, I know that I think people make up the 24 hour thing because that's when you're not contagious. I don't think there's anywhere that anybody has ever said you'll feel better in 24 hours, but I wouldn't expect you to get so much worse, have the throat get worse, more swollen, more white. So I just got home from the doctor. Basically, I have nothing new to tell you. So when I had my original strep test, they didn't culture it because they were treating me. She's not gonna give me another te strep test because I've been on an antibiotic, so it would come up negative. So basically, I just need to finish my antibiotic. She did give me another prescription for amoxicillin after this antibiotic if it doesn't go away. So basically I just need to like suck it up and stop being a baby. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I have lots to do. A lot of stuff is happening this week. A lot of stuff is happening next week. So I'm going to walk around with my little hand sanitizer and I'm going to literally put it in my pocket and I'm going to hand sanitize before I do anything. I have to get the kids rooms ready to be painted tomorrow. I have to pack the kids' snack bags and pack and do so many things. So life goes on. Mom's sick and that stinks but I don't know what else to do. I'm going to start in the boys room. I'm having the little boys room painted. This is all starting tomorrow so I need to move the beds to the center. I hope that gives her enough space. I feel like it should I need to pull them out a little bit. Move dressers out. I might need Brandon for those but probably the biggest thing is I need to empty their closet which I'm probably honestly just gonna throw all of this in laundry baskets and put this in the toy room. Thankfully we have a gigantic toy room up here that we don't use. The kids don't use. They very rarely go in there. That's where I'm gonna store everything and then I'll probably move everything back in this weekend so we're a little bit more organized and ready to leave for our trip. The closet is all cleared. I might just wipe down the shelves. I obviously need a vacuum, but I'm gonna try and move the beds together and I'm gonna try to move these dressers. We'll see how successful I am. the things that you find. Everything is moved from this room. The dresser's in front and then the beds. My only worry is she doesn't have enough room on each side. We're just gonna have to see. If it doesn't work for her tomorrow, we'll make adjustments tomorrow, but everything's done in this room. I even vacuumed the baseboards. I know this isn't exactly taking it easy, but there's no time for that right now. I just got home from getting Brex in and I just got a knock at the door. We just had DoorDash deliver us lunch. The little caption said, lemonade is for Brandon, we finally found diet. So <laughs> you guys know anything about the diet lemonade joke? It all started clear back in Vegas when we yes. went and visited the Phillips Fam Bam. Another amazing YouTube family. They're incredible. Check them out. You got to check them out. Seriously, they sent Brandon an edible arrangement when he had his surgery. Like, they are the most they're thoughtful so people. Thoughtful. Like, they're on top of it. I am telling you. If you don't know the longer story, we drove down to Vegas just to hang out with them at a water park and hand deliver some of our so merch. Fun. It was just like such a whim, fun, amazing thing. And it's just been like incredible since then. We met with them at a gas station in the little middle of nowhere because they were on a road trip <laughs> and we were on a road trip and we're like, oh my gosh, we're by each no, other. So we got off. It feels like we've known them forever. Like, and we've hung out with them twice in our lives, but they're that great of people. Check them out, you guys. The doorbell rang. I thought it was a package that I'm expecting to be very excited about. I'm even more excited about this. Oh, the diet lemonade joke. I, I, we didn't finish that story. We were at a restaurant when we were in Vegas and I ordered yeah. a diet lemonade and the server, I don't know who, <laughs> who it was, he looked at me like I was from another planet. He's like, Did you say diet, diet? lemonade? And I was like, is, do they not have yeah. that in Vegas? Like, yes, <laughs> lemonade without sugar. Like, I want diet lemonade. Anyways, it's been a joke it's for been forever. It's been the whole time we've known them. So we just got an order, and on the little guy's little screen, the delivery guy said, we found your diet lemonade. This is for Brandon, the rest is for Mindy. Diet lemonade, <laughs> diet Dr. Pepper. Oh my, you guys are amazing. And look at this, giant things of soup. Everyone's telling me to eat, like, little things like yogurts and yeah, stuff. So stuff. Yep. this is perfect. Oh my gosh. This is absolutely perfect. So Phillips cool. Fam Bam, amazing. So and cool. you guys, thank you so much. I needed this today. I've been having Brandon make every single meal because I have been too afraid to make the kids' lunches. He's gonna be on lunch duty again today because I'm just too afraid to touch the kids' food. You guys rock. Thank you. I was two days ago and it's just not going away. I went to the doctor today and it's just awful, so. I'm sorry, we have to video every time you answer the door today because it's something new every time. <laughs> Thank you. What, who is this from? I should get sick more often. Seriously. I feel so loved. This is incredible. Uh, you guys, this is from Jamie in New Zealand. Are you kidding me? New Flowers Zealand. from New Zealand? Wishing me a speedy recovery. You exude so much happiness and good energy every single day. So I hope this provides you a little comfort and brightens your day. You gotta be kidding oh me. Every time God. the doorbell rings, it's something new for mom today. This is awesome. <laughs> it's a good thing you don't get sick often or we would have I a lot of deliveries. Never get sick. I think that's what's like so crazy. That's what's so remarkable about it. I saw on the phone oh, that there was color of rose. Oh, and the peachy pinks. Oh, I love these. And they're 
baby ones. <laughs> Guys, this literally just happened. Like, just barely happened. This top strip that was covering like the thickest, most cut up stitched part just fell off. I'm supposed to have these on until Friday and then it was supposed to be like somewhat difficult to remove them to be like patient and careful and moisten it and whatever. It just fell off on its own. Top one. I don't know what I'm supposed to do about that. But I do know that right now I'm gonna take Brexy and Hazy and we're gonna head downtown, downtown Salt Lake City. We're gonna pick up a brand new vlogging camera. If you guys remember, at Christmas time I had mentioned that we got a new vlog camera. We were so stoked. It was gonna be how we captured the epicness of Hawaii in full glorious HD 4K beauty. But it is a very popular high demand camera and it is back ordered and out of stock everywhere. So when I initially purchased it, it said it would be in stock in enough time to get to us before our trip. That was more than a month ago. Still not in stock, still not expected to be in stock. So we've canceled that order. We found one here locally, but I gotta drive about 40 minutes to downtown Salt Lake City to go pick it up. So I'm gonna go do that right now. And then that way we know we're gonna have it. We can take it with, we can get you some insane footage. Guys, we're working on some homework projects deep into the night here. We've got a couple of things going on. Rye Guy is doing his book report on Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Built a 3D model of the main character and then wrote interview questions as if he was interviewing the main this character. Him, so the ear oh my gosh, dude, that actually looks incredibly just like him. The eyes. Dude, honestly, it's unbelievable that you chose a character from a book that's easily modeled like that, but also how much you can make those pipe cleaners look like the kid from Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Very well done, Rye Guy. This into this. And you, you are very crafty and so that's why we're actually using his help to help with Kruby Doo's project and Kruby Doo is making a sick, I don't know if you call these dioramas, diagrams, what you call them, but basically he's making a model here of a dirt bike. Motocross? Supercross? What is this buddy? Motocross double cross book. Motocross double cross book and so he's making a dirt hill right here with a jump into the finish line. I mean what's more Kruby Doo than that you guys? It's the perfect book, perfect report, but we are getting some of the expertise and the help from Rye Guy because if you guys saw the last one he did, the Lego figures, the tower and stuff, yeah, it was unbelievable. My, um... And then you did the one with the clouds too, right? Mm -hmm. That one was so good. Anyways, you guys, so we're just doing homework here, playing with hot glue. I did get a new vlogging camera. Cannot wait to show you guys that. I won't bore you with an in-depth full review of it, but it is insane, it's incredible. We can't wait to break it out for Hawaii. You're gonna love it. Also, just a quick update, I went ahead and put that scar away stuff on my eye because that strip fell off. So I'm just gonna start going with this. Hopefully that's okay. Speaking of updates, you guys, let's go see how mom's feeling. In here, we got Brexy Doodle practicing piano. We got Hazy trying on some summer type clothes. Ooh, I like it. Is these Hawaii? Are these Hawaii clothes? Yeah. Um, you guys, I am feeling much better though. I think that I'm just gonna need more time on the antibiotic. I think it's just gonna take time. I'm hopeful. He's right there, just round it a little bit. that I moved all the stuff earlier in the day, but this furniture is a little bit heavier, a little bit bulkier. Can't do that by myself. So I had to call on the professionals. So I asked the neighbor. Wasn't available. Just so kidding. got stuck with me. <laughs> this just definitely takes two people. I don't know how to move this. Pulling things away from the walls for painting tomorrow. Gotta get bed, dresser, everything kind of to the center. And then painting is actually starting tomorrow, right? Yeah, she's gonna be here at 9.30. All right, so you get the heavy end. <laughs> Here's the state of Rye Guy's room. Stuff off the walls, in the middle. I do want to show you this because I just realized, I was like, why is the playroom such a disaster? Then I realized you had to take everything out of their closets. Well, so all of their closets. Before we started, but yeah, everything from their bedrooms and their closets is- Everything from under their beds that day you saw us cleaning out under beds, all of that stuff, all in here in the waiting. Here's the other boys' rooms. Dressers pulled in from the sides into the middle. Beds pulled in, everything off the walls. Gonna get a fresh new look. And guys, the paint is only part one. It's only phase one of the remodel of these rooms. I don't know how much we just told you. I think we're gonna leave some of it kind of a secret until we get back, but this is phase one painting and phase two comes when we get home. I'm not even gonna recognize these rooms. They're gonna be amazing. Good evening. A lot of big things happened today. We got a new vlog camera. I was served in 
many ways. Feels like it was kind of a good day, other than the fact that it like, started off rough though, right? Like I was thinking back, I was like, how did today's vlog start? I can't remember. And I was like, oh yeah, semi devastated that we might like miss Hawaii. Like you were thinking that you're gonna oh, have to get your tonsils cried in out. My bed this morning. <laughs> we had so many things going through our heads that were a very glim start to the day. You should insert a filter that's dark right now. Oof. Oh, battery's gonna die. So we'll be quick. But then it just kind of turned around. You're feeling much better. Like you're talking better. You're moving around more. You were way too active today. Like you're just yeah. seem like you're just forcing yourself back into life, which is what I think everyone probably expected from you. Hashtag mom. Hashtag mom life. Thank you so much for the well wishes across oh, the board. I'm so grateful. Uh, we've been teasing and joking all day that we had a video about my stitches being <laughs> taken out and all the comments about we hope Mindy feels better. No, my eye's fine, guys. It's fine. I got flowers <laughs> for strep throat. I love it. You guys, tomorrow, come back. It's going to be awesome. We have Crew's very first basketball game. That's going to be so yes, cool. Can't wait to see how going on the court. are going to start to be painted. And guess what? I forgot to take before pictures, but that's okay. It can be a great day tomorrow. So come back, tune in, subscribe if you haven't, like this video. Check, check, check. We'll see you guys all tomorrow. Love you guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs>